A thermometer is placed in a test tube containing a melted pure substance. As slow cooling occurs, the thermometer is read at regular intervals until well after the sample has solidified. Which of the following types of graphs is obtained by plotting temperature versus time for this experiment? Okay, so this is about physical changes of state. Physical changes of state, right? So from solid to liquid to gas, or in this case, from gas to liquid and particularly to solid. So uh, knowing, memorizing the cooling curve might be somewhat useful, um, but understanding at least the principles behind it, I think is more important. So what's happening? We've got this thing at some temperature and it's cooling, right? So at the end of this process, it will have a lower temperature than it will at the end. So you might be tempted to say, oh, well, doesn't it just go down like that? It's in an E. Well, no, not really, because you have to wonder what is happening in the process of solidification, right? So this thing is, um, uh, we're reading the temperature until well after it's solidified. So it's turning from a liquid to a solid. Now what's happening is, in this situation, when it's uh, uh, changing phases, what you got to remember is that the temperature does not change during the phase change. So yes, it's cooling, it's cooling, and cooling, cooling, but then it hits the melting point or the freezing point. So let's label that with a different color. So right here we'll say is the freezing point. And at that point, the substance no longer starts to lose temperature. It actually begins to uh, freeze or solidify. And during that process, temperature flatlines. Once it's solidified all the way, then it will again start cooling if it still can all the way down to, you know, wherever we cool it to. So this is the curve you need to recognize. So of course the answer is B. None of these make any kind of sense compared to this process. So remember with your heating cooling curves, there's these flat lines and it's right here. This is freezing or if we're going up, it's melting. But in, any, in this case, it's freezing. Uh, this is where you have that state uh, change of state and the temperature uh, remains constant during this process as well.